Hi, welcome to Elonix. This video is a tutorial on how to build a night rider circuit while simultaneously learning how it is designed. You can also adjust the chasing speed or make other mods like these. In this variant, after completion of each cycle, it waits for some time and starts again. This is by adding another set of LEDs with mirrored connections. And this variant is with RGB LEDs. These are just a few examples of many awesome patterns you can create based on this circuit. So let's build one and understand how it works. The most common IC that comes to our mind when we think about sequencing circuits is 4017IC. So let's have a look at what this IC can do. It has 10 outputs. You can see the corresponding pin numbers to each of these outputs in this diagram. Each time the clock input pin of the 4017IC detects a rise in voltage, it switches the output to the next sequential output. Something like this. Pin 15 resets the IC whenever it detects a positive voltage, whereas if pin 13 detects a positive voltage, it prevents the voltage changes at the clock input pin from influencing the output. We don't want either of them to happen in this circuit. So we just tie them to ground. Pin 8 connects to negative rail and pin 16 to positive rail. Instead of manually giving a clock pulse to switch the outputs, we can use a triple fire timer in a stable mode to generate a periodic highs and lows for us. Refer to the circuit diagram for the triple fire timer connections. In case if you wish to have a variable changing speed, you can use a 100 kilo ohm potentiometer in place of the 47 kilo ohm resistor. Now, if this has been the previous LED chaser circuit, we would have connected all the 10 outputs in order. But here we want the LEDs to chase forward until the last LED and then chase backward. So, we can connect a maximum of 6 LEDs and this animation should explain you why. So, the first output, which is at pin 3, connects to the first LED and so on until the 6th output connects to the 6th LED. After the 6th LED glows, we want the 5th LED to glow. So 7th output which is at pin 6 connects to 5th LED and so on until 10th output to the 2nd LED. Now, I want you to pause this video for a moment and think if there is any problem with the way we have connected LEDs to the outputs. If you carefully observe any pair of outputs connected to the same LED, when one of them is high, the other stays low, which results in lots of current flowing between the two pins directly, thereby damaging the IC and battery. This can be prevented by connecting diodes to each output so that they allow current to flow only in one direction, from the output to the negative rail via the LED. Current can't flow into the other output because the diode there will be in reverse bias and act stubborn. This is how I made connections on the breadboard. All the negative terminals of the LEDs are connected to a common rail which is connected to ground via a 270 ohm resistor. Then I have connected the diodes to each LED with N terminals of each of these diodes connecting to the respective positive terminals of the LEDs. The first and the last LEDs require only one diode because they are connected to a single output. Now I have connected the outputs of 4017IC to each of the P terminals of the diodes as per the circuit diagram. Connect the power supply and here you go, the night rider circuit. I will be posting the links to videos on various mods based on this circuit in the video description. 
Meanwhile, please comment if you have any ideas. Thanks for your time. Do subscribe and have fun.